Hello and welcome to Newsim TV. Today we are looking at the state of Zimbabwean ground. Sport in Zimbabwe has always been viewed as a source of entertainment, with soccer taking precedence as the most followed activity. The Premier Soccer League recently announced that football will commence on the 12th of February. With less than two weeks till the kickoff of a new season, we decided to take a look and assess the current state of grounds in the country. News MTV went about evaluating the sorry state of football grounds in the country. We stopped first at the famous Rufaro Stadium, the country's second biggest ground. The rusty gates where fans should supposedly use to enter the stadium were soaking in stinking stagnant raw sewage and appeared to have been in solidarity with the well-nourished and cut tufted grass that sprouted towards the heavens. We spoke to some football fans who lamented at the state of these grounds, saying failure to maintain these football fields meant that the sport in the country will never develop enough to match world-class expectations. The Harare City Council is said to have denied multiple deals from private players who were interested in rehabilitating and modernizing the stadium in exchange for renaming it. Recently, the Harare City Council revealed that they were not prepared to renovate the stadium owing to other commitments which prompted Harare football giants Dynamos to approach the local authority for a long-term lease agreement. We also assessed the state of Kwanzula Stadium in Machipisa. The tall tufted and cut grass could be seen towering over the Jurawo, while the supposed gates where people should use to enter the stadium were covered in weeds sprouting. Questions have been raised on the extent of neglect by the Harare City Council to maintain Kwanzula Stadium with the city fathers evidently failing to execute their mandate and duties. Our tour saw us visiting Zivarasekwa Stadium, which has been left to rot and collapse. The DZ Stadium, as it is popularly known, used to host premiership matches and was home to Monom Tapa, the 2008 champions. The wall which was supposed to shelter and offer security to the stadium had fallen off, with the rusty sitting metal bays now providing a hazardous environment and a threat to the children from the community who spend most of their time in this coast stadium. The wars continued with shocking and disturbing scenes in Chitungwiza, where the municipality turned Chibuku Stadium, the only stadium in that area, into a parking lot for impounded cars. This further exposes the extent to which football facilities in the country have been run down. Walter Magaya is said to have approached Chitungwiza Town Council for a lease agreement but later turned away after the municipality had offered him a sour deal. To top it all off, the Confederation of African Football late last year banned the National Sports Stadium from hosting international matches until outstanding grey areas of the sporting arena are fully addressed. Although the stadium is not under the administration of Harare City Council, the state of football stadiums in the country is something to ponder about. Reporting for News MTV, I am Rizen Razao.